Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. All Things Middle Earth here with a quick video looking at the best helmets to wear, the best headpieces to wear for damage dealing commanders. And we're specifically looking at gold gear because there is quite a difference between purple and gold gear now, which isn't a great thing if you're free to play or you're like a very light spender. I get it. But at the same time, over time, you're going to get gold. And I want to help you guys prioritize which ones to invest in. So this finished tier list will be linked down in the description below. And also in the description, if you guys should know by now, because I've been saying a lot lately, is my top up link. We use the link down below to make your in-game purchases. It's no extra cost to you. It's actually cheaper in some parts of the world. So check it out because you could save yourself some money and it supports the channel. So it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated if you guys could use that if you are spending in the game still. If not, hey, that's all right. Hit that like button, help support the channel. But let's go ahead and get into the tier list. All right, this one's going to be short and sweet as well. There's not a ton of options. Honestly, outside of weapons, I feel like as we go through gold items, there's less and less viable options. And with sets mixed in, it makes it very complicated to know which ones to try and use and which ones not to use. I'll put a picture on the screen so you guys can see what we're working with here. Basically, at the top of every of the every picture in the tier list we have here, we have either HP or we have damage on the accessories and weapons. So you can see what the max HP or max damage range is going to be for your commander. And at the bottom, it's going to say physical or elemental or both. That just indicates which type of commander it can be used on, which shows the focus, which boosts elemental damage like burn, focus, and poison, or physical represents commander attack, which boosts physical damage. So just meant to be a very quick reference to see who those can be used on. So again, we'll start out here and kind of do a live example, but if you're using Dane, for example, who is a physical damage dealing commander, a physical piece this is the best one it's it's got 48 commander attack this is the the best in slot physical damage item so that's gonna be number one again hp is nice i wouldn't spend as much of your gear refining personally i feel like after a certain point it's not quite as useful definitely not as useful as damage on accessories and weapons but it is nice to have it when you do because we've all had those battles where you just barely survive and that's because maybe you had a little bit more hp hanging in there so anyway the, the tier list is not one to uh line up nice without cutting off the top but that's okay uh, next up, we have the gray wizard hat, which is 1570 on the HP. So exact same on the HP and it has focus of 48. So this is for your elemental damage commanders. This is for your Sestaro, your Skull Helm, your Galadriel, anybody that deals burn, focus, or poison damage. Also, it's probably worth noting that your support commanders that like focus, like Gandalf or Gandalf the White, should probably be wearing this as well because White Council is modified very well from focus. So even though they're not a damage commander, like you could say Gandalf the White is, but a true damage commander, um, the, the focus is very nice for them as well. So very, very good focus piece there. Uh, next up, we're going to go into the eights here for this one is going to be the Berserker's Gaze. Now the Berserker's Gaze has a little bit less HP at 1310. It's got physical or commander attack of 27. It also has some focus of 12. So I think it's actually like the third or fourth best focus item as well. So there's a little bit of pick and take. Again, compared to like the Grey Wizard hat with the focus of 12, you're looking at a fourth of that. So not a great option in comparison, but like most things the, the very best are there for a reason these guys are at 48 respectively and and from there you kind of scale down close to half so definitely want to shoot for these guys even if you can't make sets these things are great but this is still a very good option and if it makes a good set for you like a might set on dane for example and you got 27 commander attack it's a very solid option and i would do that since it's the second best physical option next up is going to be the swan helm this is the second highest focus item in the game it's got a uh, focus of 27 with hp of 13 10. So again, just so you can see, there's kind of a pattern. We have the 48 with the highest ones, and then 27 is in second place in terms of the value they have on their main stats we're trying to boost here. Same HP across the board as well. Obviously, the Berserker's Gaze has some of the uh, focus as well. So again, it can be used. Would I use it on a focus damage commander? Not personally, but that's just me. Those are the top uh, four, top you know two in each category respectively. And then last but not least is going to be the Ancient Numenorian Helm. We're going to put it in the B tier. It's got 1170 HP and it has equal 12 and 12 on its focus and commander attack. Again, not a great item. It's tied for second technically with elemental or, or tied for third actually. Um, and it is third for uh, physical. So it's just kind of that runner up that if you had nothing else and you're waiting to get a better piece and you happen to have a good set, this is not the end of the world. It will give you things that your commander wants, but fully strengthening something to get 12 commander attack or 12 focus compared to where this guy is already above that at base value these guys start at 16 at base value the ones at the very top so these unstrengthened have more than this one fully strengthened so trying to illustrate 
the difference. You could almost argue that we should do something like this because there is kind of a gap, at least, at least that maybe. But again, hopefully I've made that very clear that there is a difference from the very tippy top and anything beyond that. So if I were you guys, I've got all these videos out now. There's one for every slot in the game. I'd be running things in the Balrog tier. I wouldn't worry about sets. If you can make a best case ideal slot and you're running a second best option, I think that's acceptable. Uh, some some um, types of gear are a little bit more flexible, but as you can see, if you go down a, down a third here, uh, it, it's a lot less, so I wouldn't do it for that, but you can make your own kind of judgments there. And again, if you, every account's different, so if you have questions, make sure in the Discord, that's down below. We have a lot of people over there who like to chat and figure out that kind of gear stuff. But again, this will be linked down below. We've done all four of these now. So ideally, if you are trying to do better in your next season, you could go through these these tier lists. There's not a lot on them. It's just very like These are the five you're looking for. Obviously, look for the better ones and put them on the commanders that use them. Again, this whole series has been about damage commanders. We did get a lot of questions about other types of commanders, which we'll get to soon. But I feel like for damage commanders, it's very simple to say that for the most part, these are the five items that actually affect them. Again, we're not looking at things like initiative either, which can play into the equation as well. So again, upgrade your gear responsibly, but this is just for those who aren't going to do that. They don't care. And you just want to know what's the best one for, for Sestaro, for Skullhelm, for Galadriel, right here. If they do focus damage, this, and this one's for all your physical, your Danes, your Gimli's, Shadow, whatever it is. So hopefully you guys find that helpful. Hit the like button on your way out. And as always, I'll see you guys in a future video.